Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. If you don't know, my name is Capri, where my channel is based on beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel to see future content and to give this video a thumbs up, you know, so we can reach more people. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. you guys as you can see from the intro of this video we are doing something very holiday festive i wanted to do something out of my norm so as you can see i already have my eyebrows done and i have one eyeshadow done already just because i want to see exactly how i wanted the eyeshadow to look so for the first step we're going to base the eye with the born this way multi-use um sculpting concealer i got the mini because i didn't know if i was going to like it or not for myself but I love this concealer, let me tell you. So we put that on. Then I'm gonna blend it out with my Real Techniques setting brush. This is my all time favorite, favorite brush. You can use this brush for just about anything. We are not going to um, powder the eye because we want the shadows to stick really well to it. So I hope the camera, I mean the mirror is not in the way. And I am going to be using um, two palettes. I'm going to be using the first palette is the um, uh, Master Mattes by Mario. This is what it looked like. I really love this palette. It's everything that you need. Okay, so the first shadow we're going to go in with is this one right here. And I am going to take a blending brush. This one is from Morphe. It's the M504. And we're just going to put that in the crease. So we're just gonna pack it on the outside, right like that. And then we're gonna blend it up. Bam! I actually love the palette and I've been using it on clients as well. Don't get no better than this. Okay, so we're gonna take a second shade. Um, it's gonna be out of Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. This is exactly what it looked like. As you can see, the mirror is missing. What well, it keep falling out. That's how they that's how they sent it to me, but it's okay. And then we're gonna pack this right here on the outer corner too. Oh, this is a Morphe brush as well. It doesn't have a number on it, but it's tapered in, so that's why it's a good brush and it's smaller. So we're gonna just pack this on. And we're going to keep this low and tight in the crease. So this is just going to be something for our green shadow to transition into. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit more on the outer corner. What have you guys been up to? For me, a lot has been going on in the last two to three months. I have moved into a bigger apartment. So I am really, really happy about that. I get to feel more creative. My juice is always flowing, you know. I always got ideas popping in my mind. So I can say that this move has been really, really good for me for the year. Okay, for the next step, we are going to take this um, NYX pencil in the shade um, Emerald City. This is what it looked like. And we're going to put this in the middle of the lid. This is just to give something for the shimmer to stick to and make it pop out a little bit more. So we're just gonna put this in the middle. And you don't have to bring it up super high. A little bit in the outer corner and a little bit towards the edge of the eye, the outer corner. Bam, just like that. Then I'm gonna take this Morphe. I just can't believe it is December already. Time has been flying by so fast. I'm gonna take that um, taper brush again and just blend this out. Just so the color don't get lost in the sauce. 
Okay, and now I'm going to take this um, Sephora shadow brush, smoky shadow brush, it's the pro one. This is what it looked like. And I'm going to dip it in this color right here, which is so pretty to me. And we're just gonna pack it on the middle and then bring it into the front. And we're also gonna bring this um, up kind of high just so we can see it. It doesn't get um, lost in the transition color. So we're just gonna pack that on. And make sure to bring the color out here as well. Even though we're gonna cover it up, we just wanted to make sure it blends correctly. I am happy that I decided to play in some color. I haven't did color in so long. Just stick to my basics and that'd be it. Which gets boring after a while. Okay, so for the next color, we are going to use um, this shade. Sorry. We're gonna use this shade right here for the outer corner. And I'm gonna use another Morphe brush. Always go um, little by little. You don't wanna to pack too much on it and it'd be hard to blend out. And then just keep blending with this first brush. And now we're gonna take um, some black eyeliner from um, Pat McGrath. You know, my favorite. And this is the liquid eyeliner from her. And then we're just gonna line the top lid um, thinly. We don't wanna do it too much because then we're gonna put black on the outer corner as well. Bam. Isom a T07 brush, it's an eyeliner brush. And we're gonna dip into the black in the same uh, master uh, matte palette. And we're just going to go in the outer corner as well again. And we're gonna smoke out the edge of that line. Yep. And if you ever feel like your um, lid color is getting washed out, just always go back over it and blend it in with the outer corner. It makes it look more seamless. Bam. And I'm gonna go back in with that first brush again with no product on it, just to make sure the edges are blended very well. Okay, now we're going to add mascara on. We're gonna finish the bottom lid after we do the foundation and stuff. So we're just gonna put mascara on. And the purpose for me doing my eyeshadow first because it was a lot of fallout. So we are going to wipe the face under the eyes, get that all cleaned up. I really like this look. So we're gonna put on this Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum Base. This can be used as a serum or as a um, primer. Today we are going to use it as a primer. And we're just gonna rub this in. And I like this primer because it makes the skin look glowy. I know it's getting cold outside and we still wearing mask, but I like to have my skin looking glowy. I will make the under eyes matte just so that it doesn't really transfer onto the mask. So we're gonna let that sit for a minute and I'm gonna put some liquid highlighter on you guys. I'm going to put this Cover FX Rose Gold Liquid Highlighter on. It's a mini one. I got it as a, um, when I bought um, a whole bunch of concealers from them. And I'm going to apply this with the bottom of my sponge. I just put some on the back of my hand and we're gonna tap it in the high spots. And just make sure you blend it out all the way. 
Okay, so for the first step in the new foundation routine, it's gonna to be to put the concealer on. I'm gonna be using the same concealer that I used on my base. And we're gonna be putting it right here and right here. put it on the middle of my forehead and right here now for contour I still haven't switched that part up I have yet to like buy like new contour stuff for myself I just keep buying stuff for my kit so we're going to take what brush are we going to use I'm going to use this Morphe brush right here and just um, tap it off the top and just uh, put it in the high points of my face and blend it out. And you really do not need a lot of this contour because it is strong, as I will always say. If you feel like you put too much, it's okay because we're gonna go over it anyway. This might be too warm, hold on. I like to smile, make sure I get under those cheekbones. That's how you make it pop. I'm gonna go over with the, the beauty blender though. Mm. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the side of my nose. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to color correct. If you guys have like dark circles or marks on your face, always make sure to color correct with something orange if you're my skin complexion or darker. Um, darker skin complexions have like a like a purpley one too. If you're lighter, you can use something more peachy. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand and tap the sponge into that. And then we're gonna just blend, blend it out as we go. So I'm going to start in the center of my forehead. Promise you everything is going to blend together. Um, For the concealer part, make sure you use a concealer that's close to your skin tone. If you want to brighten it up, you can do that after like everything is already blended out. Yep. Then we're going to do the under eye. I'm gonna bring this up high, even though we contour right there a little bit, just because I have scars and I wanna make sure that they are covered up. And just bring this down some, just to blend it in with the contour. Okay, for foundation, I'm going to use my Pat McGrath. I did try out the NARS Soft Matte. I feel like it was orange. I'm trying, I'm gonna try one more time, one more time. I got the shade Cockerus, Um, and Pat McGrath is the medium deep 22, but I feel like it was um too orange for me. I'm gonna use a brush to mix them together. And this is the mini Sephora brush in four seven, I mean 47.5. And we're just gonna put this around the jawline. Want to take the sponge, dip it in that mixture, and just tap it in. If it started looking orange again, I'm gonna put in a little bit more of that uh Pat McGrath. Bam! Everything is blending together out here, looking like a do people still say that? Because I do. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to take a lighter concealer. I'm going to use my Hourglass um, Vanish Concealer in the shade Flax just to brighten it up a little bit. You don't need a lot because we already put concealer down. So just a little bit like that goes a long way. And I'm putting a little bit of it on my forehead too. Oh, 
Oh, I finally got me some Anastasia powder. I was at TJ Maxx browsing when I shouldn't been. And I got this on sale for like, I think $12. I was like, okay. I should have went back because they had deep peach too, but I never, I never went back. But we're going to use this powder to set the under eyes. I'm going to use that um, brush from before to set. Actually, no, 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 no. So we're going to take um, the Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish um, Micro Powder in the shade 2. And I'm going to press that under my eyes. I got powder all over my hands now. But before you set, always make sure to push it in. Make sure there is no creasing. whole time my mic was not it was not plugged in why why make sure to tap under the eye and press press it in i'm gonna put a little bit right here in the middle of my forehead too the bridge of my nose and my chin Put a little bit on the top lip too. Now I'm going to go in with the Anastasia powder. Always remember to tap the excess off on the back of your hands and just pop it on there. Oh yeah, you guys, I did. I bought a new um, tripod too, which is 10 times better than what I was using. It's more sturdy and it fits my phone perfectly. And I bought a mic too as well, just to get better sound quality. You know, trying to step it up little by little. Okay, now we are going to take the bronzer. I'm gonna use my NARS um, Casino Bronzer. I am going to use a Sonia Kasha brush. This is her blush brush, and I'm just going to tap it. You don't want to um, rub it in because then you're going to mess up everything we just did. You don't want to remove the product. And I'm just adding a little bit, literally. And I'm going to put a little bit on the side of my nose. Not a lot. Just so that my nose looks snatched. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna um tap this powder off because I don't want it to be too dry. Okay, so now we're going to start on the under eyes. We are going to use a small detail brush. And we're gonna go in with that first shade that we use for our transition color. And we're gonna put that on the lower lash line. And just blend it out. Just like that. Okay, so we're going to use the Pat McGrath Brown Eyeliner in Black Coffee to um, waterline, tight line. Bam. Okay, we are going to put on lashes. You know I don't like putting on lashes like that, but We are gonna be putting on my favorites, which are the House of Lash Mini Collection and Wing It Mini. This is what they look like. The lashes have been so, so much easier without nails. It's like I'm able to get super close to the lash line without poking myself. I like these lashes because they are, um, they have enough flare, but you can still see all the eyeshadow work that we did. 
So I'm just pushing this together, make sure it's stuck together. And I'm gonna put some mascara on the lower lash line. We're gonna use the Pat McGrath Mini, just cause the brush is smaller. Give it a little extra oomph. Mm. 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 We're gonna put on my NARS Ghoul bronzer. I mean, blush. You already know. Um, we're gonna use a Real Techniques contouring brush. And we're just gonna put that on the apples of the cheek. I wanna get into using more um, liquid products for highlighting um and the bronze I mean not the bronzer blush because blush is always the first thing to go so why not I'm gonna spray my face before I put on the um the highlighter and I'm going to use the airbrush flawless setting spray by Charlotte Tilbury this has been bomb af since i bought it i'm gonna use this damn okay highlight the same, the usual, my favorite um, afternoon snack by Fenty Beauty. And we're just gonna put this on a high point of the cheeks. Put this on my nose. And a little bit right here. And for lips, I'm going to use Cork by MAC. We're going to do something real, real nude until I can get the nude combo that was used on me before. Um, so we're going to do this lip liner. Remember to always blend your lips together. I'm gonna use my Dose of Color lipstick in the shade Toast and just put it on the center. Bam. And then we're gonna top it off with the um, Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. I seen this at Target and I was like, ooh, I had to get it. And I actually really, really like it. Just put that in the middle too. And it smells like candy too. And here we have the final look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you love the content that I created and you like the look. And also so we can reach more people. And please make sure to subscribe so you can see more videos in the future. And thank you for watching. Bye.